Hey everybody, it's Steve um, back again. We're going to talk today about session number six and session number six is going to build on session number five of cognitive behavioral therapy, CPT for PTSD. Uh, again, uh, my name is Steve. I am a veteran and I've gone through this process and I think it's important for other veterans to hear somebody's perspective that's not a doctor that's gone through this. So um, let's jump right into it. If you've watched, if you haven't watched the rest of these, there's a playlist on my Becker in OK uh, channel out on YouTube. You can start from session one, work your way through. There'll be a new session every single week until we get through the 12 sessions. And then we'll do a wrap up probably after that. And we'll start looking at other ways to assist veterans with their uh, mental health and with disability claims moving forward. So <clears throat> all that to say, let's just jump into the... Uh, we're just going to jump into to session six. So with session five, we were, if you remember, we were working on the um, patterns of problematic thinking worksheets. And those worksheets were helping us identify what types of thoughts we had and what the patterns of those thoughts were. And this week, um, you're going to re you're going to cover those, cover your homework in detail. You'll go over and make sure that you have a good, you know, handle on where that's at. And then you're going to take your beautiful stuck point log, which we're not done with. We're nowhere near done with that. So hang in there. Uh, we're going to take your stuck point log and we're going to start filling out one of these bad boys, which is the challenging beliefs worksheet. <clears throat> you're going to fill out one every day for six days. I've got all of them here from this session. Um, and we're going to be doing this for weeks. So the session seven, eight, nine, 10, 11 are going to sound very familiar. Uh, when I get up to them, they're going to be addressing specific things, but <clears throat> all in all your homework and the required, uh, work out of you and the, and the, the way that you're going to grow is by doing this worksheet. So we're going to start with a, the situation. Um, the situation is describe an event, thought, or belief leading to the unpleasant emotion. Um, this one is just a sample. It was handed to me. So I'm going to read from the sample. It's not my personal one. It says I have to ride on a plane <clears throat> in column B the thought or the stuck point that goes along with that situation. So if you're looking at this from your stuck point log, what you're really going to want to do is say, okay, pull my stuck point log and what triggered that stuck point? What scenario was I in when I got triggered by that stuck point? And I'm going to look here at my stuck point log. Um, let's just go with uh, I'm not mentally prepared to stay overnight on business trips and have a second day of flying, right? That, that was the stuck point, right? That was the thought or the stuck point. But the situation underneath it was having to travel for business. That's what the situation was. The thought and the stuck point um, is really how you're going to derive back and figure out your situations. So <clears throat> this one here, the, the example again, not mine, but just an example. I have to ride on a plane. The stuck point is air travel is dangerous. And then in each one of these sections, well, in one, two, three, four, five of these sections, you're going to rate your belief in a percentage, right? That one says 75%. So it says air travel is dangerous. And how much do you believe this thought? 75%. In C, which is right below B, you're going to list out your emotions, um, sad, angry, etc. You can use the emotions worksheet, the emotions wheel that brings it in and brings it down to that core bit of emotions if you want to. That helped me a lot getting started doing these. But you're going to specify your emotions and rate how strongly you feel that emotion from 0 to 100%. So in the example, it says afraid, 100%, helpless, 75%, and anxious, 75%. <clears throat> so make sure that you're pretty, pretty clear on that, right? Then we're going to take the challenging thoughts. Remember we did the challenging thoughts spreadsheet, 
or the challenging thoughts worksheet and it said what's the evidence for and against is it a habit or a fact you're basically taking information from that and you're going to put it in here and then pro patterns of problematic thinking you're going to put it in here and so you're going to take your challenging thoughts use your challenging questions to examine your automatic thought from section b um, and then consider whether the thought is balanced or factual or extreme, right? So you're going to go in, like I said, fill that out like you would a challenging thoughts worksheet. You can refer back to them. Your, your counselor or your therapist should be handing you copies of everything that you did uh, from the previous weeks. If you're seeing this before you go into session six and you haven't gotten copies, go in and start asking for copies from every session you've had so far, the forms you've filled out, and then ask for them moving forward as well. It'll help you out a lot. So then you look at the problematic patterns, just like that worksheet. Are you jumping to conclusions? Are you exaggerating, minimizing? Are you ignoring important parts? Are you oversimplifying, generalizing, mind reading? What's your emotional reasoning on this? <clears throat> and then we get to the part where you're gonna grow. And the part where you're gonna grow is all the way over here in this last column. And the top part of that is alternative thoughts. What else can I say to myself instead of the thought in section B? How else can I interpret the event <clears throat> instead of this thought? Rate your belief in the alternative thought or thoughts from zero to 100%. So, in here, you know, they listed out a bunch of challenging thoughts, a bunch of problematic patterns with their, you know, air travel is dangerous, stuck point. <clears throat> and so they listed out their alternative thoughts. The alternative thoughts they listed out were the chances are very small that I will be killed or hurt while flying. How much do you believe that? 95%. I know that goes in direct contradiction with what you wrote on your initial emotions, but now that you've worked through it, and you say, okay, if I tell myself this, this is how I should feel, right? I should feel 95% sure that we're going to be okay. And then even if the plane blew up, I couldn't do anything about it. That's an interesting alternative thought. If anything happens to this plane, if it falls out of the sky, whatever, it's nothing I can do about it. I'm not a pilot. I'm not jumping up to try and do anything. There's no parachutes on board. We're toast, right? So that thought process was 80%. And then <clears throat> the next one gets interesting. The next one is re-rate your old thought and stuck point. Re-rate how much you now believe the thought and stuck point in section B from zero to 100% after filling out this spreadsheet, after, after giving yourself alternative thoughts that are more positive in nature or more direct in nature and less you know, fear, anxiety-based scenarios. Um, and it says, you know, re-rate how much you now believe the original thought or stuck point from zero to 100%. And in the example, it says 15%. And then emotions. Okay, what emotions do you now feel after going through this entire worksheet, putting those alter alternative thoughts down, and then taking, just like you did in C over here, you're going to take your emotions and put them over there. In H, now what do you feel? Rate it from zero to 100%. Afraid. Afraid went from 100% to 40%. Helpless went from 75% to 5%. Anxious went from 75% to 10%. You're going to do this one for every day for the week of session six. And as I said before, get used to it. Because these are the spreadsheets, or these are the worksheets. I keep saying spreadsheets because... Realistically, it's a work day. I'm on my lunch right now and I'm trying to film to help you guys out. So you're going to do these challenging beliefs worksheets for a long time. Get used to them. It's going to be repetitive. It works. It worked for me at least. Um, so uh, just stick with the program at this point, quite honestly. Get those things done. Be prepared to come back in for session seven. I'm going to look at session seven real quick. Um, okay. And then in session seven, we're going to come back and we're going to continue the challenging beliefs. And we're going to start talking about different types of modules and stuff. So um, good luck to you this, this week. I hope that this session 
was helpful to you. Uh, if it was, I'm asking for three things. There are three S's. Smash the like button, subscribe, and share this video with others so that my reach can get out there and start helping other veterans. Again, I'm not sponsored. I'm not looking to advertise. I'm not looking to make money on this. I just want to help other veterans and other people that may be going through these situations. All right. Awesome. Thank you. Have a great day. Take care.